The Extrafire M4 is a medium mouse with all the right features. The 3389 sensor is a top optical that appears flawless in games, so we'll skip over that for now, but you can check the sensor testing video linked in the description. Before we get into it, here's what's in the box. The mouse and two keycaps. As always, don't pull on the cable, just enough to get access to below. Then lift the plastic out, and then remove it. There's a small manual inside too. Here are the DPI levels it has, which you can go through with the button on the base. No software, so you won't be able to customize them. Also has a polling rate switch, and you just use the button on top to cycle through the color modes. You get a few, from rainbow to breathing, and also just turning them off. You can adjust the brightness as it shows too. And they do have a logo, it's inside the mouse. The shell comes in several colors too. The cable isn't as soft or flexible as some of the mice we've seen. It holds its shape a little, but it's not a bad cable either. It's actually really good. We've just been spoiled lately. It felt fine in game, goes well in a bungee, and I'm pretty happy with it. But I would like to see it a little softer and more flexible somehow. The weight reduction holes are circular, and it comes in at about 70 grams on my scales. The construction feels pretty good, however there is creaking when I squeeze on all three copies, and it's the worst on the grey one for me. And this is where I stopped doing this video. I spoke to Extrify about the creaking, and apparently it was only on the early versions. So if you get one that sounds like this, contact support. But I got new copies in pink and blue, and these are much better. Only very slight sound. It's an all plastic design, so it should be durable in that regard. And the texture feels pretty good, doesn't feel cheap, didn't slide around either. In the latency testing, it seems to be about the same as the G903, so all good there. And it has nice tapered feet, they glide smoothly. So as I said, it seems to have all the right features, depending on what you want of course. But let's talk about this shape. It's about 5.6cm at the fingers, the length is about 12cm, the height is about 3.9cm, and the front is about 5.4cm, while the back, well that's about 6.5cm. And that's giving us this big curve for the thumb, and pushed out wall on the other side. So the reason I've taken longer with this review is because it's too big for me. And because of the really big curves, which makes it an unsafe shape, I can't really get a good grip on it. It's one of the only mice I've actually struggled to aim. The other design principles are good, good curvature and angles for lifting it up, and it feels comfortable on top too, with the flat Zowie FK style design. But these curves, I think they're too big. You can probably think of this as an exaggerated Rival 310. As you can see, it's quite similar. Here it is next to some other mice, so you get a general idea of the size too. It's a hard mouse to place because all the features are right, but I don't feel safe recommending it because I don't consider it a safe shape. I generally go for more plain mice because people can decide where they want to grip them. This one will force finger placements more. And here's the thing, if I put the infinity skins on the M4, I do start to aim it better, because I can reduce that extreme thumb curvature. I aim better with smaller mice. Increasing the size of the M4 with skins is making it much bigger, and yet I aim it better with them. So that's why I think there's an actual problem for my hand with this shape. And this is part of why we say shape is so important. Anyway, that said, it's not made for my hand size. If your hand is over 19cm long and 9.5cm wide, you might be able to aim pretty well with it. It really depends what you like. It is quite narrow though, so if your hand is above 21 by 11 you may not like the feel of it. The hump is slightly toward the back, so it should be able to work in all grip styles although palm grip would be for hands under 19cm. Let's do a quick button check so you get an idea of the sound, as well as the quality of the clicks. The tension on left and right is interesting. They feel pretty good, light and quiet, and the wheel is fairly silent too, both clicking and scrolling. Some decent steps, not too much tension though. And the side buttons have a nice click with only a little travel. Overall, the buttons are a great selling point on these. They feel really good. And so to conclude, it's a really hard mouse to know who to recommend it to. By the features, it's a top 5 mouse. By the shape, 
I mean, it could be your number one if you like this style, but because it's not a safe shape, I don't feel comfortable recommending it. Unless someone specifically states they want something like this, I don't think I'll bring it up. I will say it's awesome to see Extrify make such a top mouse in so many ways. If they release something like this with a safe shape, it could easily get in the top 10 and be a bestseller. From my list, anyway. I would personally love a mouse like this if it was my kind of shape and size. So that's the conclusion. Really amazing mouse with a lot of great features, but the shape is unsafe and therefore, you're going to have to use your own judgement. Try it out if you can, give it a good few weeks, see if it improves your aim, or if you like the comfort, and then go from there. So good work to the team overall, I'm sure we'll see something special from them in the future. It's great to have Extrify making mice like this. Also, a big thanks to them for sending these out for review. Use your links in the description if you want to help support what I do. And as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next. Revenge. Accuracy. 